During the 1960s, advances in machinery brought about new, easy-care synthetic fibers. As a result, cotton lost many of its traditional markets. Realizing this, U.S. upland cotton producers conceived a self-help agricultural promotion program. The Cotton Research and Promotion Program is a public-private partnership that allows U.S. cotton producers to pool their resources to fight for more demand for cotton. Our cotton producers, along with importers of cotton products, contribute about $75 million per year to try and make cotton the fabric of everyone's lives. The Cotton Research and Promotion Program invests the funds collected from U.S. cotton producers and importers into groundbreaking research and compelling consumer promotion developed and implemented by Cotton Incorporated, a company governed by cotton producers. The Cotton Board contracts with Cotton Incorporated to carry out the Cotton Research and Promotion Program. And through that investment, we've created a state-of-the-art research facility uh, here in Cary, North Carolina. We've driven progress in new cotton products that consumers find attractive and want to buy. And, you know, the most important thing we've done is we've developed the seal of cotton, a brand that is known around the world as a source of comfort, as a source of quality, and quite frankly, as the brand of this program. With a high level of expertise on staff at Cotton Incorporated, state-of-the-art labs and equipment at the world headquarters in Cary, North Carolina, and the full scope of research being conducted by Cotton Incorporated, the Cotton Research and Promotion Program is working hard to increase the demand for and profitability of cotton. Cotton Incorporated is charged with doing research and marketing activities on behalf of U.S. cotton growers and importers, and it really expands the entire supply chain from the production of cotton all the way to the consumer. For example, we have agricultural and fiber quality research activities uh, focused primarily at the grower Jenner segment. We're involved in improving production efficiencies. We're involved in sustainability and, and ultimately to help improve fiber quality. So really all things cotton, from improving cotton production, producer level, to increasing demand at the consumer level, all to try to improve the demand and profitability for U.S. cotton. Uh, cotton Incorporated employs about 145 full-time folks who are either in the marketing effort or in the research, and we're all here to try to improve the demand and profitability for cotton. Just as cotton starts in the field, so does the research being done at Cotton Incorporated. There, the Agricultural and Environmental Research Department provides research and technical services to cotton growers, ginners, and their support industries, and also serves as a link between cotton production, the textile industry, and the research and extension communities. So in the Agricultural and Environmental Research Department, we fund projects that cover all range of cotton production activities from entomology, plant pathology, weed science, agronomy, plant breeding, ag engineering, Right now, sustainability is a very important topic and growers' attitudes about consumers' attitudes about their practices is increasing in importance. So right now we're focusing on a lot of projects that are involved in precision application of inputs, whether it be a pesticide, fertilizers, water, just how can we reduce our overall footprint and increasing yields or preserving yields while using fewer inputs. The cotton industry has achieved significant environmental gains over the past 40 years, but it's not resting on its laurels. Around the world, scientists and researchers strive to develop new ways to grow, process, and manufacture cotton more efficiently and with increasingly less impact on the environment. The cotton industry has a long track record of innovation, and that's primarily driven to increase profitability through yield or reduce costs. Today, that's no different, and we've over the past had a lot of efforts to reduce both cost and inputs. And today that's called sustainability. So we have a lot of efforts that include things such as the implementation of nutrient monitoring, water sensors, and precision ag, and various other technologies that we're implementing. And that's gonna be good for the growers, bottom line, as well as for sustainability. The U.S. is the world's most reliable producer of high quality cotton. Cotton Incorporated helps maintain this leadership position through ongoing research in their fiber competition division. If a new development is created and it's released to the industry, then we provide textile testing services for the facilities that are adopting that technology. A formulation or a recipe that works within our labs has to be adapted and modified so that it can work in the specific textile facility that wants to use that cotton technology. So we would provide a variety of testing services on their production runs to ensure that the new technology is performing as it should. 
The Product Development Laboratories at Cotton Incorporated is a well-equipped research and development facility capable of producing a wide range of knit and woven fabric constructions. The division also provides inspirational and technical fabric development ideas to all facets of the textile and apparel industries. So in the product development area, we're constantly needing to show new ideas in cotton to brands and retailers that make the decisions that go on the store shelves. So we're always looking everywhere. We do a lot of store research. We travel all over the world looking for ideas. We study scientific journals. We just put different types of yarn on knitting machines and weaving looms to see what kind of new ideas we can generate. Through the Global Supply Chain Marketing Division, Cotton Incorporated works with companies, organizations, and associations in the world supply chains for fiber products. Division staff offer technical guidance, innovations, and marketing knowledge to cotton businesses through one-on-one -on -one meetings, educational workshops, and industry events. The Global Supply Chain Marketing Division works with manufacturers, brands, and retailers to get cotton on the product shelf. We work to keep cotton competitive in the market after it leaves the farm. It's our job to identify decision makers within the supply chain and to determine how best to influence them. We have a variety of tools available to us to help us do that and to move the needle for cotton. We have our trans-dry moisture management technology, our storm water repellent technologies, these tools and technologies offer retailers a way to differentiate their product, but also to offer their consumers something they want, cotton and performance. The Consumer Marketing Division is comprised of five departments, Advertising, Strategic Alliances, Public Relations, Corporate Strategy, and Global Market Insights. Consumer Marketing Division's purpose is to motivate consumers and the supply chain to search for and buy cotton products. It is also to affirm cotton as the primary choice among sustainable products in the marketplace. We do this by keeping cotton visible and viable through advertising, public relations, and industry and market analysis for key decision makers. We promote cotton sustainability through programs such as Blue Jeans Go Green and cotton's fashionability with strategic retail and brand partners through programs such as Cotton's first ever 60 second runway show that was shoppable. We focus on the consumer and trades purchase journey, awareness, engagement, and action to ensure that cotton is a preferred fiber for everyone. For more information on how the Cotton Board is investing in the future of the cotton industry, visit www.cottonboard.org.